When fish are in a positive mood, it's usually because positive things are happening in their environment. Food is abundant. Weather conditions are stable or improving. Light levels are optimum for feeding success. Throw a bad cold front into the equation, however, and a positive mood can suddenly turn negative, grinding fish activity to a standstill. There isn't much you can do to improve a fish's mood. Oh, God. You can, however, adjust your presentation to suit a sour mood, converting a tough bite into sweet success. After a long winter, smallmouth swimming a grub is a exciting thing. Look at that baby. Huh? You know what? I dream about the early season smallmouth bite all winter long. Right now the water is relatively dark, the water is relatively cold, the fish are just coming up in spring. So their strike zone is uh, relatively small at this particular time. You know, I'm taking this little 16th ounce uh, VMC hair jig, just pitching it out in back of the boat or out away from the boat and just sort of twitching it. And it's moving very, very slow. On the opposite end of the spectrum, you know, throughout the summer months in a real clear water lake and on the Great Lakes, I know for a fact that smallmouth bass will travel you know, 25 foot to hit a bait. So it gives you the range of how you have to use your varying lures in your tackle box to trigger one of these fish in the, the biting. You know, their strike zone can really change dramatically throughout the course of the season. The feeding mood of all fish can change dramatically on a daily, weekly, and seasonal basis. For consistent success, your lure selection has to be in tune with their feeding mood. Today we're fishing sluggish fish, just moving in from deep wintering areas to shallow flats where they will eventually spawn in the next couple of weeks. Slow and subtle seems to be the ticket for the day. Hey, for more detailed information or to purchase any products you've seen on this show, go to lindermedia.com and thanks for watching.